You know, I think it's important that we talk about our men's basketball team and our women's basketball team, but I'll be honest with you, I want to talk about you right now. Uh, this is a chance for uh, really uh, me to reflect and represent all of Terrier Nation, all of Boston University uh, on what you've meant and to show our appreciation for your career. And it's not just in basketball. You've had multi-sports that you've called and you've been the voice of. Uh, I'm from this area, Doug. You're from this area, so we know what hometown announcers mean. And, you know, growing up with Santos and Cusick and Coleman and Martin, and I know I'm really dating myself now. Oh, I'm right there with you. Right, but, the, you know, there's a there's a comfort level uh, that you develop with those announcers, and they you know, they tell a story. You watch the game through their eyes, and, and uh, you know, you like how they watch the game for you. And, and I know that I've always felt that about you. Uh, we'd have a road game. And somebody would say to me, did you watch the game? And I said, no. They said, you didn't watch the game yesterday? I said, no, I listened to Doug. He said, what do you mean? I said, I'd rather have Doug tell me the story of the game than watch or listen to, goodness, somebody else's announcers. So I, uh, <laughs> I always loved the way you told the game, you know, the story of the game. And, and, and uh, just, again, there was that comfort level. The best seat was when you'd be at a place like Colgate and you got to sit at courtside and watch the game but sit right next to you and listen to you paint that picture and i just thought that was that was special and and you know we've worked together a long time and yep. uh i people ask me about you all the time and I, I i tell them that one thing that stood out for me a long time ago with you and i it, it's never wavered whether we're playing binghamton on a tuesday night or you know we're playing michigan uh years ago is the preparation for the game and and i don't know if you can see this but I always marveled at the way you prepped for a game, every single game. And that's what the folder looked like. I think these should be in the Smithsonian if they're not in Springfield. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think that, that that's what I'll remember is just that, that professionalism, Doug. And, you, you know, you're, you're one of the greatest interviewers I've ever seen. Um, I did an interview with you at one point, and somebody said to me, that was a really good interview. And I said, I, I don't take any of the credit. That was all Doug. Uh, Doug is somebody that young interviewers whether they're sideline reporters or what they should watch because there's again their comfort level um it was never about you 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 had great cues you watched you know you you're you're a very adept basketball guy too we all know that but but you know i i know that uh we're gonna miss you and i know that i represent everybody at boston university when i when i ramble on but i you know this is emotional for all of us because uh you're part of it you're part of it and you know, you're very special to us, and I want to make sure that we took the time to tell you on air. I know we had a pregame ceremony. I want everybody to know that we have something else for you. We're, we're not letting you walk oh, away for uh, 35 years with just a basketball. <laughs> uh, we're a little, you know, a little bit better than that. But, uh, no, you've meant a lot to us, and, you know, this is a chance for you to, you know, talk about your, your experience here and, and tell, tell the world, tell Terrier Nation, you know, what your – favorite moments might have been whether it's through a game a coach or a player well I have been thinking about this a lot as you can imagine over the last several weeks through and, it, and it's so difficult to pick out uh, the best ones because yeah. there have been so many not just with basketball but with the other sports as you said but I, I think if I had to just quickly mention a few obviously I've been fortunate enough to call I think it's three NCAA games for the men's basketball team of course the fourth one should have been in 2020 we That's were right. all robbed of that as we know but that was a special championship anyway because of all the championship games that I had called, that was the first time I had ever been called on the floor to help cut down the nets, and I will never forget that. I still have the piece of netting in my bag that I carry to every game. Um, obviously, there have been an, a lot of great moments in basketball, but the other sports too, as you mentioned. Um, football, the undefeated season in 1993, one thing I will never forget, shout out to all the members of that team that just celebrated their 30th anniversary, right. undefeated regular season, best football season in BU's history, kind of in the, the last glory years of the program. And, and then I have to mention hockey, too, because it, it's not all positive stories. There are great, maybe sometimes sad stories that are become learning stories as well. And so I have to mention Travis Roy, because uh, the first year that I did BU hockey on TV, that was our first game. So that was my first game doing BU hockey on TV back in 1995. Everybody knows the story, what happened with Travis. Mike Ruzioni was doing the games with me at that time, and I was blessed to have somebody next to me who not only knew Travis pretty well, but understood the situation from yeah. a player's point of view. And I, and I remember that night not only because of what happened to Travis and how sad it was, 
but what a triumph his life became after that and also what an unbelievable atmosphere it was around the entire university uh, community in that next week when we did the telethon and the fundraising right. and all of that stuff I will I will never forget any of that yeah. well, along with a lot of other things what are you gonna miss the most quickly Doug well it's obviously the people I mean there's no doubt about that but I but other than the obvious friendships and colleagues and the players and the staff members and the fans and everybody that the parents everybody that I've had a chance to meet over the years but but the other thing is, I've really been thinking about this a lot, the, the time that I maybe enjoy the most before every game is like the last two or three minutes before we go on the air because it gives me time. You were talking about the preparation. To me, this job is about preparation. But those last two or three minutes before the game starts, I kind of let it all go. Everything I've done, I can't do anything more at that point. I just have to rely on what happens in front of me. And so those last two or three minutes, because I still love the games and being at the games, but those last couple of minutes are always great kind of centering times for me. Well, we're going to miss you, Doug, and I know we're up against the time, but yep. again, thank Thanks. you so much. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate everything you guys did. Thank you. DJ now to Papali. Wide open, Dom Morris, two-hand flush, and the jam! And Dom is happy about it! That brings to an end our final show of the year, and for those involved with the program, I think a rewarding and enjoyable one as well. It's win or lose right here. Stemke stopped at the rim. Alexander saves it. The clock runs Ooh, out. Take a shot here for BU. McCoy at the elbow, and he gives BU the lead with 26.7 to go. They've been true pros and true friends, and I'd like to wish them every success and the same to everyone on the crew who'll be leaving us. For those of you who've been watching throughout the year, we appreciate your support. I'm Doug Brown. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the fall for another Terrier Sports Beat. Back to Burns for three. That's no good. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Nine years is long enough to wait. Boston University is going to the NCAA Tournament for the first time since 2011. Doug, I know you said that you didn't want anyone saying words that may make you tear up. So with that in mind, I think you may want to turn away for this next segment. DJ now to Papali, wide open, Dom Morris, two-hand flush, and the jam! And Dom is happy about it as he gets high fives and chest bumps all around. Doug, what's up, brother? Congrats on your retirement. I don't know how you're going to find someone as good as Brian. I really enjoyed my four years with you. You can even see up here, got my jersey. It was an amazing time, and, and I enjoyed spending it where I could with you and talking. It'll be a family affair for the Pet Caches. Yes, indeed. Pet Cash with a three right on cue. Well played, Andrew. And uh, to many more great years, but, but thanks, Doug. And uh, go Terriers. Short, another rebound for Suk Matone and a great fast break by the Terriers. Head cash pays it off. Doug, what's up, buddy? Just wanted to wish you uh, congratulations on a great career. It was so great seeing you this season when you were in Albany. I uh, got so many memories with you, especially our America East Championship many years ago. It's great to see everybody doing well. I hope you enjoy your retirement. Please come see us either when we're in Boston or out in Albany. Enjoy, buddy. Doug, how you doing? Orlando Vandross. I heard a rumor all the way in Charlottesville, Virginia, that you're retiring. I want to say congratulations to you. I really enjoyed working with you the time I was there at BU. And um, I remember vividly how prepared you were for every game. And doing post-game interviews was pretty interesting with you because I had no voice at the end. But you were so gracious enough to kind of work with me and kind of help me along the way. I want to say congratulations to you. And I hope that you find something after retirement that makes you happy. Take care, my man. Hey, Doug. John Holland here. Uh, I just want to congratulate you on your retirement. Uh, I want to wish you all the best as you transition to a new journey in your life. And you meant so much to me. You were the voice of my college career. In transition, the trailer is Holland for three. Yes, sir. And BU is back within one. And more than just what you meant to me, I want to share uh, what you meant to my, my parents. And, uh, and my, my father is here to just give you some words of what you meant to him. Hey, Mr. Brown, I want to thank you and I want to congratulate you on your co uh, coming retirement. I want to thank you because you have made 
listening to John's games when he was on the road or when my wife and I and our family couldn't be there, you brought that to life. Come off a lot of injuries, missed in it layup, and at the other end, John Holland drives and jams it down with the right hand to give BU the lead back. It was you who I believe should stand on the pantheon of greats like uh, Marv Albert, and others, Bill Stern, all the greats of the past who were able to take the moment and bring it to life for us who couldn't be there. I want to congratulate you and I want to thank you most of all for the consistency that you have done over the years. Thank you. Enjoy your retirement. Enjoy. Have a good one. My man, thank you for everything that you did for me in my time at BU. Enjoy retirement. Just give me one more. It's good! To Alexander for the win. He's got it! 1.6 to go! My man, Dougie Fresh, Doug Brown. Let's go, buddy. I know it's been a, a minute since I've reached out, but I heard about the retirement. Man, a true professional, a class act in every sense of the word. Thank you for your service to Boston University men's basketball, true gentleman. Enjoy retirement, my man. Come down and see me in Florida. I'll put you to work. <laughs> Congrats, Doug. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Doug Brown, you've had a great run at BU with your alma mater. Got through me and all the bad things I periodically said. But congratulations on your retirement. I hope you uh, go into this next chapter of your life enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying mine. Again, congrats. So what can I say about my guy, Doug Brown? Uh, man, it has been an unbelievable ride. I couldn't imagine, you know, my 13 years here being uh, here and coaching without uh, without you uh, and our friendship and, and, you know, the way we work together. It's been so much fun. Uh, just getting to know you and, and going through this journey with you. You know, we both got to pull up with Brian, you know, um, but we, we've both been able to do that and get past it. But you've, you've done it with grace, intelligence, uh, just a love for BU and for, for the game of basketball. And you, you're going to be somebody that, that surely missed, and I'm really hoping that we keep in touch. I love you, Doug, and I appreciate everything that you did, not only for, for our program, uh, but for me. Thank you. To my dear friend, Doug Brown, on behalf of the entire Javis family, I want to congratulate you on a fantastic career and wish you nothing but the best in retirement. Personally, I will never forget the five years that we spent together at BU. We won a lot of games, over 100, I believe, and we had a lot of fun doing it. Win or lose, you were always positive and made myself and everyone feel important. Take care, my good friend, the very best in all you do, and continue to let your light shine because it shines very, very bright. Love you. Respect you. Take care. Hey, Doug. 16 years ago, BU thought it would be a good idea for your new partner to be a 23-year-old kid who thought he knew everything about broadcasting. Fortunately, they knew a lot about you and how easy it is for you to teach and shadow and have people understand what it is you do best. And for me, I needed that. I needed to learn how to be a professional. And that's what you were able to teach me. I was able to see how you prep for games. I saw how you were able to utilize those nuggets and other information within the broadcast. Those are things that I will take forever with me and has made me a better broadcaster over the last two decades. You were the officiant at my wedding. You have become a great friend and a family member of our family. I can't thank you enough and congratulations on your retirement and enjoy it.